Hey everyone! Since February has come to an end, I wanted to just do a quick roundup of all my monthly favorites. Let's get right into it. This last month, something I really struggled with was finding a good moisturizer. I don't have the best skin, so I decided to go to a dermatologist and I got prescribed some topical medicine, which really dried my skin out. So I was in the market for a really nice moisturizing cream that I could put on at night. Uh, because for some reason the one I use in the mornings would like Feel really uncomfortable. I don't know if it's the ingredients in that moisturizer that I use that just didn't agree with whatever was in, in the medicine um, but I Had to switch it up and find something else. Thankfully around the same time glossy came out with their new priming moisturizer in rich and I have to say that this stuff actually saved my life not only is the packaging really, really nice and cute, but this just made my skin feel so much better after using my topical medicine. The consistent consistency of it is really nice. It doesn't, it doesn't necessarily feel really thick on my skin, which I like. I hate feeling like there's like a layer on my face, um, but this doesn't do that. So I really, really like this stuff and highly recommend it. So my next beauty favorite is the Ico Black Magic Mascara. Um, I think this is a Korean brand, but I believe it is sold at Urban Outfitters. I don't know about Sephora, but I will find a link for you down below. I don't know what it is about this mascara that makes it so amazing. I'm not sure if it's the formula or the brush or a combination of both, but it says that it's infused with keratin and shea butter to visibly transform and intensify your lashes. So I don't really know what those ingredients do for your lashes, but whatever it is, it works. I don't necessarily have long lashes. My lashes just tend to stick straight out. And for a person who doesn't like using curlers, this is probably the only mascara that actually curls them a little bit and makes it stay that way. Okay, so my next favorite is an oil. I use this as perfume. It says it's for hair as well, but I usually just like put it all over myself. Um, it's the Nada Botanics Rooted Oil, and this stuff smells like Palo Santo. If you don't know what Palo Santo is, I would definitely recommend you check it out. It's like the most amazing scent, and I always burn it in my house whenever I come home. Um, but a friend of mine told me to check this out because she also loves the smell of Palo Santo, and she told me that she literally found an oil that smells just like palo santo count how many times i just said palo santo <laughs> but it's true it literally smells like palo santo and i just love it it's so relaxing it smells so like earthy and good i don't even know how it's possible but it's 100 percent natural and it's literally the best smelling oil ever god it smells so good so that is it for my beauty favorites. Next, I'm gonna go into my fashion favorites. I really don't have that much stuff when it comes to fashion. Um, just like four items. One of them is this awesome Champions. Champions or Champion? I think it's Champion. Champion hoodie. I live in Philadelphia, so, well, it's supposed to be cold right now. It's actually like sunny and 70 degrees, but. Um, for some of February at least, I got to wear this and I literally wore this every single day. It's so comfortable and it's really cute actually. Like I feel like it's a really great piece to wear under like a nice coat with some nice jeans and heels. Just like a really easy piece to throw on when you want to be comfortable. And I just love the color. Another piece I really like, which I've actually been wearing with my hoodie, is this amazing Zara jacket. I will insert a little clip of it so you can see it better. Um, but it's basically a replica of the acne jacket that I love and am obsessed with. I just can't afford it because <laughs> um, it's more expensive than my rent. So, um, when I saw this one, I just, I got really excited. If you're on a budget like me, this is a good alternative. And I also have been wearing this every day. It's actually pretty warm and it looks amazing with like a comfy hoodie underneath. Zara's actually been killing it lately. I 
My next two items are shoes and they're both from Zara. The first pair is this white pair. I wore it in my lookbook for the last all white outfit, but these are amazing. I like to wear them with all white socks, um, but they go with every outfit. They're super comfortable and they look really cool. I'm pretty sure they're sold out to be honest. I don't think they make them anymore. Um, but I did see a similar version with a little bit more of a heel on the Free People website. So I'll just link those since they're kind of similar. I might get a pair of those as well in a different color because they're just really cute, but that might be a good alternative. The next pair of shoes are also from Zara and these were in my last lookbook as well. They're just so cool. I love that they kind of look like socks on the foot and the clear heel just makes them that much cooler. So my last few favorites are just random things that I picked up in the month of February. Uh, the first one would be this oil. It is called Yoshino Hinoki. I don't know if I'm saying it right, so I apologize if it's wrong. I don't really know how to explain the scent because it's a very unique blend. It's just like a very relaxing scent. I don't really, I'm like the worst person when it comes to describing scents because I just like don't have the vocabulary to express like what I'm smelling, if that makes sense. Not that I like don't speak English, clearly I speak English. Let me explain this for a second because now I feel like everyone's confused. English is my third language, so sometimes like the words don't come to my brain right away or sometimes I can't find the words that I'm looking for, if that makes sense. I don't know how to explain this, to be honest with you, but it is 100% pure essential oil blend. Um, and what I do with this, which is my next favorite, is I put a few drops on this little cube. So as you can see, it's literally just like a wooden little cube that has a dip at the top so i bought this at the same store where i found the essential oils and basically what you do is you put like five drops of the essential oils in the dent and you just let it sit um and it's basically like a diffuser it doesn't work as well as an actual diffuser like in a large room for example you won't be able to smell it but i like to put this next to my bed that way when I go to sleep or when I wake up, I can just like have a little whiff of it and it's really relaxing and it's just like a really nice thing to fall asleep to or to wake up to. Um, the only thing about it is that it leaks. Like it once you drop it in, it soaks all the way through the bottom. So you have to have something underneath it. So what I've been doing is I've been putting it on this little cool thing that I found at an antique mall. But I've basically just been using this as a tray and I'll put this on here and just have this on my bedside table. So it's really cute. So both of these kind of go together. All right, so my last favorite is just kind of a random houseware item that I found at a thrift store last week and I'm really excited about it. Um, I am from Arizona and thrifting in Arizona is like the best because you can go to like a savers or a goodwill or like a local shop and you'll you'll find like the most amazing things and ever since moving to philly i've had a hard time finding good places to thrift at so that's been kind of a bummer but the other day i went to a thrift store and i didn't really have high expectations i just like i just was bored and it was nice out so i went and walked over there and I found the coolest thing that I'm so excited about. It's like, <laughs> I don't even know what it is. I don't know if it's like for oil or for wine or, cause it has a little opening up here and you can like put stuff in it. Um, but I'm just gonna use it as a, like a ceramic piece for decoration, but it's so cool. It's just like this weird donut looking thing um, and it's got a little like flower detail at the top, but it's so cool. I don't even know what to say about it. It was probably like the best $2 I've ever spent, to be honest. It made me so happy. Um, 
I just love it so much. If any of you know what this is or what it's called or what it's used for, please let me know because I really, it's such a mysterious thing. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please let me know. I would love to answer them. Um, as always, all the links will be below and if I can't find them, I'll try to find something similar to it. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.